He was the self-styled king of infidelity, and Ashley Madison's founder, Noel Biederman, who said he'd never cheat on his wife, enjoyed the spotlight. Earlier this year, he told the BBC he planned to float his business on the tolerant London Stock Exchange. They're more comfortable with, let's call them, sin or controversial businesses. They've taken a number of those out before and have done really well with them. Now, after the hacking attack which leaked his client's data, he's left in a move which the firm says is in everyone's best interests. But the survival of the adultery website must now be in doubt. Now, why would anybody have faith that you could sign up for Ashley Madison and have it remain discreet that you are a member of the site? So I think it's going to be very difficult for Ashley Madison to come back from this. The leak of what appear to be internal Ashley Madison emails has raised new questions about the business and how many women were using it. It's clear from the emails that Ashley Madison had a problem attracting female users. One refers to the launch in Japan, with one Japanese city having more than 20 male profiles for each woman. There's also a lot of talk about something called Ashley's Angels, apparently female profiles created by the staff. Another email talks of building angels en masse and says staff involved are running into the equivalent of writer's block. Meanwhile, the fallout from the leaking of customer data continues. One woman explained how she confronted her fiancé after finding out he'd used Ashley Madison. We've disguised her voice. He was denial, 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 and then when he was shown the proof, it did became a bit more of a... I'm caught kind of look in his eyes, and that's when he started confessing that, yes, he had met up with multiple women on multiple occasions. The hackers who stole now, Ashley Madison's data said they wanted to destroy rights. Noel Biederman's business. Today, they came a step closer. Rory Catherine-Jones, BBC Isn't News. It time for Ash